case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1970 case of Jenkins v. United States, heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit, the central dispute involved whether or not a property under Martha O. Jenkins's power of appointment should be taxed. The Commissioner of Internal Revenue argued that the property should be considered part of Martha's estate for tax purposes, while the estate's executors disagreed. The district court initially ruled in favor of the estate's executors, but this decision was later reversed by the appeals court. The case arose after the passing of Martha's sister, Ada Lee Jenkins, which led to Martha gaining the power to transfer property. The sisters had lived frugally and executed similar wills in 1958. Following Ada's death in 1962, Martha renounced her role as executrix of Ada's will, but took no further action. Martha herself passed away just days later, and both wills were probated later that month. The appeals court ultimately determined that Martha O. Jenkins possessed a taxable general power of appointment over the property in question. It held that Martha had ample opportunity to renounce the power, but failed to do so, which obligated the estate to pay taxes on the property. As a result, the court deemed the plaintiff's constitutional argument invalid and overturned the lower court's incorrect decision. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.